Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today we're making pierogies. Now these are a rich and buttery snack that are also a cultural staple that highlight the traditions and values of Eastern Europe. So let's get started. Diving right into the recipe, we're gonna make the dough first in a large bowl. We wanna add in two cups worth of all-purpose flour with half a cup of ice water, one large egg, four tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, and half a teaspoon of salt. We wanna mix these ingredients until the dough forms. Depending on the consistency, it may require another half cup of ice water for the dough to come together. You just wanna make sure you don't have a runny dough. Once the dough initially forms, you wanna knead the dough on a lightly floured working surface for about four minutes until it becomes elastic and smooth. And once it reaches this stage, we want to wrap the dough in plastic wrap and allow this to rest and rise for about one hour. Now, while the dough is resting, we want to peel and slice our potatoes. In total, we'll need about two pounds worth of russet potatoes for this recipe. And you want to slice those into two inch size cubes. Once you have your potato sliced, you want to place the potato pieces into a large pot of water with one tablespoon of salt. Bring the pot to a boil. And once it's boiling, you want to allow the potatoes to cook for about 15 minutes or until the fork can easily pierce the potatoes. And separately, in a large saucepan, we wanna heat one tablespoon's worth of unsalted butter over a medium low heat, or 249 degrees Fahrenheit, or 120 degrees Celsius. We're gonna need about half a cup's worth of diced white onions. And once the butter has been melted in the pan, we wanna add those diced onions and cook it until they become translucent and tender. Now, once our potatoes are cooked, we wanna transfer them to a large bowl using a slotted spoon. And to that same bowl, we're gonna add in our cooked onions, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese that's been finely shredded, and another tablespoon's worth of unsalted butter at room temperature. Use either two forks or potato masher to mash these ingredients together until they become smooth. Now you wanna season them with salt and white pepper to your own personal taste. Now on a lightly floured surface, we wanna take our dough that's been resting and rising and cut that in half. And working with one half of the dough, we want to roll that out onto a flat disc. It should be about an eighth inch thick. And you wanna repeat the same thing with the other half of the dough. Now using a three inch cookie cutter, you wanna create circles out of the dough. And now once you have all the circles of your dough cut out, you wanna take about one tablespoon's worth of the potato cheese filling and place it onto each dough circle. You wanna fold the dough over itself to form a semicircle and pinch the edges closed with your fingers or fork. In total, you can make about 30 pierogies with this recipe. And while you're filling the pierogies, you also wanna have a large pot of water on the side boiling, and you wanna make sure you add one tablespoon of salt to that water as well. And once your pierogies are set, you wanna transfer those to the pot about 10 at a time and boil them until they float to the top. And this should take roughly around two minutes. And once they're floating, you wanna transfer these pierogies to a large saucepan with two tablespoons of unsalted butter alongside about a quarter of a white onion that's been thinly sliced. The saucepan being set over medium heat or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. You wanna to toss and cook these pierogi until they become golden brown on each side. You wanna work in batches of seven to eight at a time. And this should take around three minutes per batch. After cooking about half of the pierogies, you want to remove the cooked onions and then add in the remaining two tablespoons of unsalted butter, as well as another quarter of a white onion that's been thinly sliced to the pan. Continue searing the remaining pierogies and then once they're all cooked, you wanna plate them alongside the cooked onions and then serve them with your own choice of accompaniments. And just like that, you've made pierogies right at home. For a variation on this recipe, you can add some cooked minced meat to the filling. But when you do try this recipe at home, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine 
or hashtag Chef Cuisine so I can see your great takes on this dish. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 4, Enhancing Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. Feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make pierogies, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. It's one of the best ways to show support for this channel. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button too to see more recipes just like this one. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe and think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week where I show how to make a really easy yet so delicious roasted red pepper sauce. This is so good with pasta, as a dip, or even all by itself. Well, thank you all again so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can always check out more on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like these videos, so let's see if they're right. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.